Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am on another Florida nature adventure today here at Blue Spring State Park. It's about an hour and a half away from Walt Disney World. You may get here a little quicker now because of the I-4 Express is now open, which I love, by the way. And this is located in Orange City, Florida. But I'm here today because it is officially manatee season and I wanted to come to the state park because I've heard so many good things. I've seen so many beautiful pictures and videos of the manatees inside of the spring. So I can't wait. I just talked with a ranger. They have spotted 17 manatees in the water today. So I am very excited. I also wanna walk around with you guys and just show you what you can do here in Florida away from the theme parks in the Orlando bubble. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. I do want to mention you do have to pay to visit this park. It was $6 per vehicle, which isn't that bad at all. You have the main parking lot right here, and this is where you will enter. There's also a lot of picnic tables, grills. There's also a restroom. I came a little closer to the restrooms. They have poop bags for your dogs and a shower. Oh man, now this is Florida. I love the moss on the trees. I just love the vibe. It's nothing like a good walk through the Florida nature, but if you keep going in this direction, they offer boat cruises. But today we're heading on the boardwalk and this is where you can spot the manatees. Now at the beginning of each year through April, swimming is closed here because it is manatee season. My goodness, you guys see these fish? They're huge. I can't believe how clear you can see all of the different fish. I believe a lot of these fish are gar. This is beautiful. There is also a sign that says no swimming when manatees are in the area, just for safety. And if you do decide to come here when it's not manatee season, if you wanna hop in the water, they do have stairs that will lead you inside. Ooh, Bianca just spotted a sign regarding alligators. Looks like alligators are present along the trails and waterways of this park. They usually eat fish, turtles, and other small animals, but may attack larger animals such as deer. Alligators have been known to attack humans. So just a little caution for you, but nothing to be that scared of. Just be safe and always make sure you're looking all around you. Uh-oh, looks like somebody lost their swimming goggles. The restrooms are right there. You have the parking lot and then the entrance to the boardwalk and then the boat rides are in this direction. But over here, you have more additional seating with picnic tables, but looks like you have a gift store that you can rent lockers and a place to get food and drinks. Check out the menu here. Lots of options. We are now going to walk the Blue Spring Trail and this is a 10 minute walk. You know what's crazy is I thought about bringing my drone, but I was like, it's probably not allowed because you really can't fly in here in Florida. The West Indian manatee in Florida. And here's what they look like. They are beautiful creatures. You can also scuba dive here as well. And if you're into camping and RVing, they have a campsite here for you to explore. We may look into that one day because I really want to try to start camping around Florida because there's just some beautiful parks, beautiful state parks around Florida. And I would love to try to go explore each and every one of them because they are just, when you're having a bad day or if you need just some time to yourself to just think and just be one with nature, I recommend these because they will take anything off your mind when you're walking around these amazing state parks. We found two manatees. They're not that big. We have continued our contact. They're beautiful. Looks like they have some kind of satellite or buoy tied to them for research. There's a manatee researcher here from the Clearwater Aquarium, and she said these are satellite tags to track the younger manatees because they are rescues. Her name is Plantana, and the other one is Pippin. I love it. She's coming up for air. There's also so many fish around them. And as of this morning, the water temperature was 67 degrees. Oh, it kind of looks like they're cuddling right now. 
so cute. Yeah, after spending about 20 minutes looking at the two manatees, I definitely want to come back and at least snorkel when it's not manatee season. I've even been thinking about getting my scuba license, so maybe that's something we can do later this summer, but eh, it's just beautiful. We are really enjoying this. Here's a big tip. Make sure you bring the bug spray and thank me later because <laughs> I am getting bit up right now. We are now heading in this direction towards the boat cruises. Here's some of the fish that you can spot inside the blue spring. Of course, you have the Florida gar, bluegill, warm mouth, bass, sunfish, oh, we were mullet. Seeing, we were seeing tilapias. We were. Yeah. Wow, there's Florida <laughs> tilapia here. Wow. And of course, the catfish. And finally, you have the long nosed gar, and we've seen so many of them. Check out this manatee. It's a nice piece of artwork. It also makes for a really nice photo op. Look at this house. It looks very old and classic, which I love. It also looks a little bit haunted. This is called the Thursby House. Check it out. The early years. Looks like Louis Thursby arrived here in 1856. I like how they have all of this really good information out on display. I'm not going to get that close because I do believe in good and bad energy and I don't want to take any unnecessary bad energy home with me. But I've been thinking about possibly starting to do haunted videos maybe on the second channel something I've always kind of been interested in, but this would be kind of cool to do an overnight challenge inside, but uh, I don't know. I need to do more research on this house because it looks pretty creepy. We found three more manatees. Look at that. Wow. They're just chilling. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. There's so many. Oh, there's two more. We should have came this way all along. Oh, no. A lady just told us last time they were here, there was like 600 manatees right here. I guess this is the location this is the place to be oh my goodness they are so dang cute my goodness look at this giant gar yeah there's so many manatees over in this direction there's even more the further we go down they're everywhere this one looks like a baby Juvenile, another gar fish right there. Oh my goodness. They're starting to make their way in this direction. I spy a turtle. The baby just came up for air. I'm not sure if you guys can see or not, but if you look at this manatee's tail right in the middle, you can see some white marks. And those are from the propellers on the boats hitting them. And I love knowing that a lot of these manatees are rescues as one is coming up for air right now. My, oh my. There's the researcher we were talking with a little bit earlier as she's doing her research right now. You can also find a playground for the little ones. There's even more picnic tables and grills over in this direction. If the other side is too crowded, just walk in this direction because there's a lot more.
if you were curious on the river cruise prices there you go you can also call to make reservations that's really not that bad and also it is handicap accessible so everybody in the family can enjoy it and there's the river boat that you will take and it looks like you can also do some fishing over here on this dock what a beautiful day you guys hear that nature you can purchase a guided tour and then over here this is where you can purchase your canoe rentals for the day looks like they have plenty of them and of course they come with the paddles here's the prices to rent your kayaks not too bad over here they have two pavilions if you want to throw a party or get together this would be a perfect location or if you just have a bigger family and want space there's a second parking lot over here and some more restrooms also there's a manatee outpost where you can get some more snacks but it looks like it is closed today i spotted this sign and this is an update to the manatee count 17 manatees have been spotted today here's a look at the different lockers that you can rent it also looks like you can rent tubes as well let's quickly check out the gift shop i like this t-shirt with the manatees and it says blue spring state park this is my manatee <laughs> Oh, look at this water bottle with the manatees on there. Check out this really cool sun swim shirt. I like this a lot. Ooh, the back is nice. They have a few rain jackets with the spring logo, a few bags, towels, and some hats. They have a few postcards and magnets to choose from. I always like buying one thing just to remember our day here's a long sleeve shirt here's the front and then the back it looks like there's manatees along the sleeve there this makes a great souvenir i like this piece of artwork here in the gift shop very cool stuff this is adorable these little manatee plushes hello there's also dolphin plushes and a gator plush heck yeah they have stickers as well yeah i may get one of these i like this pineapple one next up i'm going to quickly stop inside the blue spring canteen and this is where you can order food and drinks it smells just like a cafeteria in here so here's the menu they have a lot and the prices are pretty affordable slushies pretzels over here you have chips candy beef jerky Granola bars, Pringles, they have all kinds of stuff. Red Bulls, they have Dippin' Dots. Oh man, I'm sold. More ice cream. If you are interested, looks like you can volunteer here at Blue Spring State Park. On the way back to the car, we spotted another manatee on the smaller side, swimming alone. He has places to be, or she. All right, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I know it was on the shorter side, but holy cow, I enjoyed every minute of this video and the day getting to just walk around and look at the beautiful manatees. This is something I've been wanting to do for years now, and this week is the week of spring break, so I'm trying to do other things away from theme parks and such, and this was a great idea. I hope many of you are able to come out to Orange City, Florida and check this beautiful state park out. I highly recommend it. We will definitely be back because I want to do some snorkeling and maybe one day soon, hopefully by this summer, I will have my scuba license so we can do all kinds of fun activities around Florida. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help with the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Out. I ain't feeling lonely. In a morning, man, it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly. For those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.